All right, we've talked about beef breeds. Now we're going to move on to swine breeds. So swine, pigs, hogs, all the terms are interchangeable. The first breed we're going to talk about is the American Landris. It is an all-white pig, or maybe stereotypically you're thinking that your pink pig. This is it. Um, they're very long-bodied, and the way that you can tell pigs apart, regardless of their breed and regardless of their color, is always what their ears look like. So the American Landris, their ears are really big, they're floppy, they actually kind of forward, they fall forward over their face, almost looks like they can't see. So they have floppy ears. And they also have very large litters, and they are known for their mothering ability. And even though their name is the American Landris, they actually originated in Denmark. So you can see all these pigs have very floppy ears or that solid white. All right, the Duroc. This is a red pig, the only red pig we're going to talk about. They're that dark, really pretty, kind of like cherry red color. Um, they also have droopy, floppy ears. They are known for having a very high growth rate and a high feed conversion. And they did originate in the United States. All right, the Hampshire. So the Hampshire is the Oreo pig. They are black with a white belt around the front legs. Um, and they have erect ears, so ears that stand straight up. So the American Landers and the Duroc are two breeds we've talked about that have floppy ears. The Hampshire has erect ears. They have a very good muscled carcass. Um, they also have a lean carcass, so they might have a lot of muscle, but they don't carry a lot of fat. And they actually originated in the United States also. All right, the Yorkshire. So again, you have to look at the ears in order to tell these guys apart from your American Landers pigs. Um, the Yorkshire is an all, another all-white pig, and they have erect ears. So the American Landers has floppy ears. The Yorkshire has erect ears. And you can remember that because the ears stick up straight off the head, much like the Y right here. Okay, so you can kind of remember it because a Y has two parts that stick straight up, so do the Yorkshires. They have ears that stand straight up. So they have erect ears. Um, they also have very large litters, very similar to the Landris. Also good feed efficiency, high growth rate, and they are also known for their mothering ability and their long carcasses, very similar to the American Landris, but again with erect ears, not floppy ears. All right, and then the Chester Whites. This is the third solid white pig that we're going to talk about. So the Chester White has sort of half erect ears or semi-erect ears. So they kind of start to be erect and then they flop over kind of around halfway. Um, they actually originated in Chester County, Pennsylvania, hence their name. They're kind of medium in length. They're not quite as long as your Landris and your Yorkshires. Um, they have a very short snout. And they actually came about because they were intermingled with different English breeds. That is all we're going to talk about as far as swine breeds go. Um, we'll talk about poultry breeds in the next video.